Right, welcome back to Graviteam Tactics on the Lugger Line. Lugger Line. I'm not sure, I should maybe look into pronunciation. Uh, deployment's finished, I think. Uh, you can see in here. Uh, yeah, so we've got two platoons of tanks that have uh, arrived. So they were the ones that were on the march, if you remember on the battle map and actually giving them orders to advance I think through into this sort of area which means that they are still in column of march at this point in time uh, and therefore can't redeploy them so they're stuck on that road for the moment but that's fine because it's pretty much where I wanted them to be uh, the plan is going to be to advance up here, take the farmstead, use the armour to support the infantry advancing and let's change the angle. Uh, yep, so we'll advance up through here, clear that forest um, and then swing around into the centre uh, using, whose uh, company is this? A, yeah, that's Rudel's company in there. And they also have yeah, the company machine gun platoon. It's only two MG34s, but they'll advance up there. And we have, uh, that's a riddle, we have this back in reserve essentially at the moment in here. They We'll probably push up to take this 0.68 once we've taken the farmstead uh, and then they will start to clear out the forest there and we have Krugel uh, it's also back here but his platoons are further forward uh, including the uh, recce troops there so these guys will push forward and clear out this area that leaves us with Schaefer's uh, company over here. Uh, it's got one platoon holding that forest, another holding the extremity of the village there, and his machine gun platoon. We've got a couple of machine guns here covering that sector, and another couple here covering this sector. Who's this actually? Ah, yep, yeah, that's... No, is that fine? No, I don't think that is fine at all. Um... Ah, right, okay, so... The spotters back there have inadvertently left a commander up in his original position. So let's... Um, put you back in the village. There's a danger to doing that, obviously, in that um, Soviets might call in artillery on the village. We've got a few units in there, um, but we just need to live with that. What else do we have? We've got the anti-tank guns. Uh, we've got, and they have, and they should have designated fire sec sectors. Yeah, okay, that, that's the machine gun in there. Um, so a gun here covering this road, hopefully you could swing around to the right if need be. Uh, we've got this gun covering that road there and again I can reposition that just by one hex to cover this road if necessary. And the third gun over here. They've all got a range of set of about 500 metres. Not that I'm expecting tanks to come charging out of the forest but at least they're there. Uh, is that everything? Well, we've got other tanks. Um, yeah, so this company here, it's uh, all in that sort of position. Um, this company is in the strategic map, or the operational map, that's heading over to the east. So we're holding it back. It's not going to be directly involved in the battle, but uh, 
look at the line of sight. It can support the attack up here if necessary. And over to the left as well. So again, that's essentially a bit of a reserve. I think we're just about ready to start. Uh, artillery uh, Schreiter here. We've already also looked at this guy. Um, he's got some fire missions set just to zero in on that objective, this part of the forest and the forest here or here. We have Hirsch, who has uh, yeah fire mission set again in the forest there. He can't zero in, so he's just got a fire mission for three, yeah, three rounds per gun uh, to come in in ten minutes' time. So if there is anything advancing through there, hopefully that would catch it. Uh, we have Blom over here, and. You've got nothing set. Let me check that again. No, you don't. Again, um, you can't zero in, but I've not actually set any fire missions. So let's pretend that this is intentional. And I've left this to show you how to set up fire missions if you're not familiar with it. Um, so right click on the current uh, target position. And I think, looking at this road up here, if we were to call in a mission there, a scatter of 440, it takes a minute 40 to call in, so that's not much good. That's a scatter of 430. I'm thinking this might be why, yeah, I think I've tried to set missions and didn't bother in the end because the scatter is just so so much. Um, because the spotter, where is the spotter? Yeah, you're over here actually. Am I mixed up? Pachtler, you pretty sure yeah, you can zero in. Why have I not given you missions? Right, we're going to Change your minds then. Uh, I do want to have some sort of fire mission across there. I'll try that again. Grab this. And call in some fire here. I guess scatter of 500. It's not any better. Because the spotters can't see where the missions are coming in, they can't adjust fire obviously um, okay because the plan was to use artillery to clear the forest or to help clear the forest let's see if you were to come up somewhere around here You've got absolutely no line of sight in there at all. If we put you forward with the recce troops. Again, not particularly good. Don't really want you on the road either. Hmm. Yeah, this forest is just too dense at this point. How about over here with this platoon? Slightly better in there, but again, not particularly worth it. Right. It's not really where I want it, but if I, yeah, so 40 meters scatter there. Let's zero in. Yeah, zero in and 
230 now 290 240 I think what we'll do is try and plot some missions uh, over in this sort of area and then if we can move the spotters forward as the troops advance then we can hopefully get some more accurate fire so we'll try that let's yeah let's zero in again there and I'm thinking there could well be something back here. So if we can, 430 is a bit much. Um, Three fifty. Let's try that. Okay, so that's you done. Where did I leave you? Back there, that's okay. And then Blom, you must now, be, yeah, you're over here. And you can't zero in, but what we could do with you, if I can find your current marker, there it is there. Let's bring this over and we'll lay down some fire on the farmstead right at the outset. So, Scatter's only 40 again. So let's call in that mission for now. Three shots per gun. Three rounds per gun. Let's put that up to five. Call it in. And then if we... Then... Um, Call and fire over here towards this objective. Let's maybe put it right on the objective. Now that scatters 190, so look much better there. 160. There it's back to 40. And 110 with that slight change. So we'll leave it there. Takes a minute and 13 to come in. Uh, let's... Yeah, we've got another five minutes and five per gun. Call that one. And then a bit of a creeping barrage. Scatters only 40 again. Make it 10 minutes and then one more uh, scatters pretty bad uh, we might just leave that then yeah so if we just go with those three preset barrages then you can advance forward with this company and when you get line of sight on the areas back there you can potentially call in fire as it's needed so we've got three fire missions there we have you with one yeah just a one You have uh, the three, yeah, third one's there. You have three in around there. Okay. So I think that's as ready then. Let's just go ahead, give out the initial orders. So if we look more closely at where we're set up, so up here, we're actually in dead ground 
and we will be when these guys squat down. So they can't be seen from the farmstead. So for now, let's get Stanzel. Your initial orders uh, take you off. Act with caution for now. If you could, we well, can't actually get that. Oh, that's right to the edge of the battlefield. If you would, to begin with, uh, covert move. Let's check it out. Column, normal spacing. Yeah, we'll settle for that. So a covert move to there. And then from there, we'll have you follow this route. And a recce. So let's make it two lines. Uh, sparse spacing. Maneuver. Uh, that was on manoeuvre already. Okay, so that will be your move. Let's get Sal here. We're going to have you advance up. Yeah, so you can get onto the road and then there's another slight rise beyond that. So we'll have you come up just to the road for now. I'm going to have you again recce, but you'll be in a single line, um, just normal spacing. You into position there. I think that's everything there for now. Over here, do I want to move our recce troops at all? We'll leave them there until the artillery hasn't done its work. And I don't really need to move anybody else. So, 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 yeah, I'm settling for that. that that's fine. Let's begin the battle. And watch what happens. So, Sal's platoon should get itself into line formation and then advance. Stanzel is. Uh, yeah, getting into column formation. We'll move up to here and then they'll reform into two lines and advance on the farm stand. We spotted anything over here straight away. Mm, nope, doesn't look like it. Nothing over to the left either. Okay, if you didn't watch the setup part, first part of the video, this sector over here and this sector here can't change hands. This company here under Schaefer is part of this, uh, it's the seventh company of the first motorized infantry regiment, which is actually operating. That regiment's operating over there to the west, northwest. Um, the main attack here is the 113th Motorized Infantry Regiment. So, yeah, Schaefer's company over there are just holding position. They shouldn't be advancing. Stal, our Sal has moved quite a bit further forward. And there's an artillery coming in in the farmstead. So, what can you see from there? You. Nothing. What's going on? Why can't I see your line of sight? That's better. Okay, so you've got some vision, uh, but not on that slightly higher ground there. And... Uh, Stahl. This is... No, not Stahl. Uh, who is this? I need to no, stands ill to remember who you are. You are uh, now getting yourself into your recce formation. Beginning to advance. What do we have? 
12 high explosives still to come in there. Four there. So watching this guy here is getting a bit close. I should have not had them advance straight away. I did think they would have taken a bit longer to march over here before they did the dog leg up towards the farmstead. They're going to get themselves suppressed. What's this? Uh, no, no, you, uh, you. Right, we're going to cancel that. Why can I not cancel this mission now? Hmm. Right, okay, stands out. Uh, you just take up defensive positions back here. Doesn't look like there's anybody in the farmstead anyway. We do have some folks back there. The trenches by the looks of it, the tanks are engaging them. And it's not moving either. So they're holding position. Now, who did I have with fire missions in here? Not you, it must be you. No, no, it wasn't, wasn't. It was Pachtler. Actually, you're not too far away. You've got another five rounds to come in. So let's go back to Blom. Why have you only got one? Where are you? Why have you only got one person left? You lost somebody somehow. Anyway. There. You're now preparing your fire mission over here, so it stands out. Let's have you just attack this position then. Looks like there are more trenches back here. Yes, Hess, you're back here. Let's bring you up to this position. And again, the recce, please. Stanz was on the move. Tillman, let's have you begin to push up towards here. Uh, two lines, sparse. Reiki, please. And back to Pachtler. No, it's not Pachtler, it's Blom. And you to head up here. Uh, covertly, please. Tell me, I need to remember to take you off and act cautiously, otherwise you'll exhaust yourself crawling up there. Okay, 
use that. There's nothing in here. That's our troops. So you can see those guys there. Stanzel, uh, just take up defensive positions there for now. And then the tanks do some work. I'm trying to get some artillery in there as well. This barrage is now coming in here. Few troops back there. This tank's on the move. Um, Hirsch. Not you, no. I remember it eventually. Yeah, right. Let's see, if I were to call on a mission like that. Scatter's only 70, let's go with that. Uh, three, let's make it five rounds per gun. Call that in. Looks like that tank is heading down this road. So, Vichel, let's pull you back over to here. Uh, fast move. Try and get you back out of the way. Let the tanks that are back here and the anti-tank guns deal with that tank as it comes forward if it comes all the way into vision and it does look like it's going to charge right down this road there's our gun over here, there you are so can you see that's not, that is the gun Where, where's your no, ah, there we go. Right, you uh, do fire it well. Let's see, can you actually spot the tank? There it is. Once again, where's the gun? I can't see the gun. There it's there, right. Tanks coming into view. Gun is down in here. You can surely see that if we come out through the trees. There it is. You going to get a shot off? It's outside of range. Ah. Alright. Okay, so let's extend your range then. Looking at the wrong gun, too. Uh, you. There we go. We did get a shot in there from the other gun, I think. Or maybe from one of the tanks. That looks maybe more like the tanks up in the hill, given the speed that the rounds are coming in at. Having said that, though, they're all coming in in a similar trajectory, so perhaps not. So, what is this gun back here doing then? There, it's beginning to fire now. Kessler. Yes, it is Kessler that we have selected here. Your firing arc. Yeah, let's extend it all the way up there. Come out of binocular mode too. So you are trying your best. That looked like a good hit. Maybe not taking it out though. No, it's still moving. Although, when we said that, there is damage in the turret. Uh, so that's probably out of commission now. 
Anyway, spent far too much time over there. How are we over here? Uh, with Bloom. Um, what can you see from your position? If you would turn face that direction, please. Waiting for the command points, I think. Dylan's moved up in there. We've got a good crossfire going on here. Let's bring Hess further forward. up to there in the attack. Bloom. Have you changed facing? Sort of. Let's have you a fast move to there. And then we'll get some more artillery called in. When you're ready. There he goes. So you, right. Ah, typical. Still can't see over there. Okay. Could you then maybe come over here? Can you just stay with it? just now. Although these guys have begun to really suffer. We've got a tower coming back here, so stand on west of you. Push forward. Let's have you go and assault those trenches. And try and then take cover in them. Blow, you're still moving. Let's try let's find a fire mission. That's not you. It is you. I suppose the fire mission, yeah, it's back here. Is it not? Perhaps not. Well, it should be. Ah! Maybe I can't... It's only pre-planned fire, I think. I don't think we can call it in on the hoof here. Hmm, that explains a lot. Okay, anyway. Uh, stands over there, taking over there. Tillman. Make some view. forward. I'll lend your weight to the attack over there as well. And Sal, you could now uh, just recce in that direction. We'll get you to pass through Hess later. We do have troops in at that objective, so it's probably time now for Waldman to Begin your recce and Volk do the same. Fahel, could you take up defensive positions up there? We'll have uh, Seafried up here and Housel. We've got quite a lot of troops coming in through there. Let's have you covertly move up there. And Hirsch. Oh, you're the same. You don't have the ability to call in fire. No, you don't. Okay, uh, back over with um, Stanzo. You've got these machine guns. Let's bring them forward. 
up somewhere here. Fast move. And bring your uh, commanders with you. Could you wreck you over to that point, please? Deal with anything that's around there. We have Waldman coming in. You can see, well, where some Soviets were. But we've got those two platoons on their way. Is that a burning tank here? It looks like it, yep. So we did finally put an end to it. Housel, could you um, assault that position there? Make sure you take hold of it. Uh, just the infantry, obviously not your trucks. You move over to the right, hold up there, and Seafried uh, assault up to there. Take out anything that's advancing. Everything's very quiet over to the right. Okay, over here, still some firing going on. Uh, Waldman has managed to come in and seize this objective. Looks like we just missed the last... Oh, there's a Soviet there. Surrendered. Looks like he's wounded too. Good. Uh, Waldman, you could now recce up in that direction. Volk, you should have been off. Act cautiously. Uh, recce up to there. I'll try and swing you around into the flank of those troops. And over here, Sal, let's get you to advance well recce uh, single line let's have you normal spacing head out and so after me bringing Blom forward to call in fire over here I'm not able to get that done The last fire mission was back there. There's no indicators for us to grab and move, so we just have to rely on the tanks, obviously. Now let's pull you back into here then. Um, if you're not able to provide any more support, Nadler, let's get you to come forward just as a recce. Tell me that you're done over there. Some of you advance up this road now. Uh, hang on. Double line that's sparse for the infantry. And in here, Seafried. Attack there and then Housel. 
going to attack up to there. Vichel. You wreck it to that point and then we'll have you continue up there. I'm still seeing something to shoot at. I'd imagine whoever's over there must be pinned. Are they shooting at this? Maybe there is someone still around there that you think they can see. Rather than actually shooting back there. Oh no, we're, we do have commander up here. Uh, so again, Stanzel, let's have you. Reiki to that point. And then attack in there. Our tanks. And else? Yeah, they're all still in decent order. Let's have his move forward slightly. But again, no, remember, we want this single. Do that, please. A lot's going on over here now. In terms of CQB. Looks that way anyway. I haven't seen anything else around this area, so Volk, uh, you're there. Did you. Uh, two line sparse, a wreck you to that point. Then up to there, Waldman, have you do the same or similar? You come up to there, and then from there, dog leg to the left. Tillman, I think we'll leave you where you are until we know if this is clear or not. Stanzel's not engaged with anything, it seems. Let's push Hess forward. And again, for you, single line, normal. And Reiki. And we have these folks. You uh, again? Uh, you should be no. You can be single line. You're okay. You just rake you up to that point in case you're needed. Okay, we've got some troops back there. Getting a bit close actually to this fire location. Uh, no. You can we call fire in here. Scatter's 150, that's not too bad. But I think just looking at what's happening around here. Can we maybe do that instead? Yeah, scatter 60. Uh, five per gun is fine, call that. And Housel. If you fall back to the road, take up a defensive position there. And in fact, you need to come down here. That's your defensive position. Seafried. 
just hold the road. Okay, stands all. There's the edge of the map there. If you advance up to here, two lines and sparse, and then from there, the leg left. I've got some troops back there. Looks like Valdeman has spotted them. Ah, there is, there's another tank in there too. Volk. Position there. Valdman. Uh, position here. We'll get some support around that flank from the tanks. Speaking of, Sal, you can probably now wreck it up to that point. You're in two lines, that's okay. Coleman, let's get you on the move. And it's up to there. Is this artillery coming in? It is. So I hope you've managed to get your troops to take up decent cover. We've got some casualties in here. Oh, this house is Hmm. There's like a few there, here. those sorts of positions. Let the artillery do its work. Let's see, freed. Yeah, okay. This guy's here. Probably not going to be much of a problem if that's all there is of them. Uh, Stanzel, you've reached the edge of the forest, so that's not edge of the map as well. Right, okay, so you're just going to uh, recce across here. Uh, let's go back to this view. So, let's get Hess to push through. Um, Okay, head up here. Let's have you in. Um, no, in column for now. Uh, we'll have you tight as well. Recce to there and then again swing left. Tillman. Defensive positions there. And wait for your armoured support. Down in here it was. Uh, yes. Pachtler. Calling in the 
the fire. Right, I think I might just do a CM. Let's do that. Scatter of 90 is not fantastic. I'll accept that. Uh, five rounds per gun. I'm sort of three rounds this time. Call that in. And then I might actually call in some more. What can we see back here? 180 scatter. Alright, we'll see if we can move you a bit closer. Get some eyes on that open ground back there. So if you come over here, just a normal move is probably fine. And we'll swing you up there behind Seafried. And then from that point, maybe have you come covertly up to there. Dan's not moving across quite rapidly. Sal, I don't know what you're doing. You're maybe stopped there for now. Let's view. Uh, recon. And column. Yeah, you do that. Similar to Hess. Coleman, I want you somewhere in here. See if you can find any targets. Vichel, I think you guys are getting their artillery there. Go back, defend. Guys, but hopefully, also Seafried actually. Once that barrage is finished, we'll have them assault into there, and we'll have these troops focusing on advancing into that open ground area with the tank support. Tillman, that's a view attack into there. And stands are all we've got some units here. Looks like they're in trenches. So Stanzel's going to attack or assault the trenches. Um, Hess uh, advance up to there. Sal to there. Cool man. What sort of line of sights do you have from there? Hardly anything at all. Okay, well you're going to just you guys. Um, yeah. Recce across there, find positions to engage the enemy. Seafried, let's have you begin pushing into there. Household. Uh, why are you not shooting at infantry? Well, that's a bit of a problem. Make sure these guys are too. Slight oversight on my part. Uh, you should be conserving ammo just because that's what I tend to do. Okay, household, hopefully, you will now be engaging them. Hey. 
piss. A view. Uh, yeah, in line, normal. Attack into there. And Sal, you do something similar down here. into the trees beyond there and back to is it Hirsch? No Hirsch uh, Packler Yeah Packler you're still on the move or you should be anyway let's have you first move up to there Who they were shooting at, and there's a commander back here. We have uh, from Coolman, no, from Kessler's company, we have that machine gun. And you should be firing at will. And I see you've accidentally, there's a do quite often brought forward trucks. Uh, whose trucks are these? Fast move. Uh, just get back out of the way, please. Seafried's trucks came all the way from across the river. Hesitant to say it, but nobody is mobilised yet. So if you take up defensive positions there, and you try and take those guys there. Stands all. You've done your work today, my friend. You get out in front of the tanks. Make sure they're secure. Tillman, back here. Yeah, we want you out in front of the tanks there. So, in fact, just go and take up defensive positions. Two of you. It looks like our machine guns here. I thought some of them were in action. If you come forward, take the fence there. Come back here too. So you come forward. Need some cover as well. Right, uh, Seafried. Defence down there. Household. One line. No. Yeah, just take up defence there too. Pachtler, what's your line of sight like from there? Not fantastic. somewhere up around here. Let's get a fast move. Let's see if we can get some artillery called in on this mass of forces back there. Our tanks are in the fight there anyway now. So hopefully we'll do well enough. Let's see. You can see nothing really, right? So, Sal, I want you further forward and tell me you are hanging away back there. 
come forward and take up the defensive positions out here. We'll at least get some mortars being called in. Into them. And obviously they're under fire from the flank as well. Can you see anything yet? Nope. What's wrong? Are you tired? Can you conserve ammo? Hang on. Oh, we've got an offer to surrender. Let's not accept that right now. You get on the move. Continue the battle for now. <laughs> I just want to get at least one artillery barrage in on those guys uh, before we conclude the fight. So you're hopefully going to move. Yeah, there they go. Let's get them up into somewhere around here. Hopefully, they'll get a decent line of sight. Without attracting too much enemy fire. Recoverable, almost like falling backwards into a trench. And the crew are out, the crew are taking cover. So hopefully they will be back for the next fight. Uh, still struggling to get somewhere that you can see. Move. You're not moving covertly. Just get on and move then, basically. Or I'm going to have to accept that a ceasefire without you calling in your RT. Scatter of 310, it takes three and a half minutes to call it. I'm not going to wait for that. These guys are just getting nowhere fast. Keep trying. I'm just getting no indication of where the is there a, a lip of high ground, for example, or is it just a wonderful thing here that's causing the trouble? Let's move to that point and we'll see what happens. It doesn't look like they're on the move at least, but I've still seeing nothing.
there we go. I don't see a flashing green there. Keep on going. Right. Maybe I can get something after all. 240. 40, right, let's call that. Ooh, we want 5 per gun immediate action. So that should come in in about a minute. And then we'll accept the ceasefire. Probably. Let's fast forward until that artillery lands. I think didn't look very impressive, but that's definitely it there. So I definitely wasn't expecting anything like this strong position back here in the open ground. But I suppose it does make sense, it's slightly elevated overlooking a marshy area. this artillery barrage fairly decent positioning do we actually have eyes on it? not particularly I suppose there are plenty of commanders round about that can be relaying messages by word of mouth I'd like to see a 155mm round land right on top of that tank. Highly unlikely. victories cost us. So our tanks, oh, I forgot all about Nadler, he's still a wee back somewhere. Um, one immobilised tank. Uh, you did take a few losses. Household, you've taken significant losses. Seafried's not so bad apart from your trucks. Stanzel, given the amount of work you did, um, it's not that bad. Uh, anyway, so, we lost two thirds of our strength, seemingly. Down to seven platoons. Lost a lot of territory. Okay. Our result for them is really bad. And. In terms of casualties, we lost 182, 20 killed, they lost double that. We had a lot more heavily wounded, but they had a lot missing. Uh, presumably POWs, and we had a lot wounded. So we lost 100 uh, all in. We lost about 160. Lost one vehicle. And two are damaged, so that will be the uh, one that was <laughs> upside down or perpendicular in a trench. A few captures, but in terms of the actual troops, we lost 60% of their commanders, almost 60% of their infantry as well, 
Three quarters of the reinforcements. One of their scouts. They lost two of their three tanks. And one truck. We've still got all of our tanks apparently. So we did manage to recover that appended one. We only lost one truck. Right. Well, that was a fairly decent result for us. Uh, now we need to... What do we need to do? We go back to the operation. Okay, so that battle took place in here. With the 113th. Um, this is over to the west. I think, well, actually, are these guys, they're not involved in this fight. Surprised that neither the tanks or the engineers are involved in this one. Hmm, this might just be like a reconnaissance, not even the reconnaissance in force. Until we can get more troops into the area. But that's for the future. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.